Hello, everybody. I'm like a couple seconds early, but hello, hello. It is 7.15 p.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday night, and this is Bits and Pieces, or you can just call me James. It doesn't matter. I don't have a preference, but welcome to another Tuesday night stream. So if you're just joining, typically Tuesday nights, I do Let's Make a Music track, okay? But as the title is probably implying, you might be a little bit thrown off. Um, we're going to go a different route tonight, okay? We're not playing a game, but we're going to listen to a project that I've been working on over the past couple of years. Um, I'm kind of breaking that down a bit. Uh, that's going for two reasons. One is I talked about doing this a few weeks ago. Um, and the second one, to be honest, uh, it's been one heck of a past two days with work. <laughs> I'm pretty shot. And uh, I don't have as much creative juice in me tonight as I thought. And I didn't want to give you a, uh, you know, like a, less than average or subpar, subpar, I should say, um, let's make a music track together. So that's being postponed till next week. But tonight we're going to do something fun. So what I'm going to do first, if you're just joining, hello and welcome. Feel free to say hello in the chat or if you're just going to listen to the background, that's fine. But if you're just joining this, this stream, you've never heard of me before, my name, my band name is Bits and Pieces. I've been making music for about four and a half years. It's a lot of chiptune music with modern elements, but I also make RPG music on the side too. I've been working on a couple projects. This one we're going to talk about tonight, which I simply have dubbed the Forgotten Legend, is not really an actual soundtrack for any actual game. So I kind of made this you know, made these decisions in the past when I started working on projects to make soundtracks as if they were for games that don't exist. So when you're listening to this, you're going to start hearing a lot of RPG elements and you're going to start hearing some some tracks and things that sound like it belongs in a video game. Heavily inspired, I have no shame in, in saying it, this is heavily inspired by a lot of the 90s era RPGs I played growing up. A lot of the music is, is heavily inspired by that. Um, the thing with this particular project, with the Forgotten Legend, that uh, I mentioned this a few weeks ago, so if you missed it, it's okay, but there is kind of a recurring theme, a recurring, like a, a melody or a theme that you're going to hear throughout a lot of the tracks. Not all of them, but enough of them that my goal is to get whoever's listening to this to go, oh, I know what this is for. Like, I know where this is associated with. So... Let me tell you a little bit of story about this idea, okay? So this pretty this pretty cool idea with this before we start listening. Um, the first track I made was really meant to be like a village or sad town theme, and I, I liked it, and I thought it would be a little bit better. Then I started coming up with this idea of what, what can I do if I can start putting elements of that into other tracks, and that was really where I got that started. So for this idea, what I decided to do... Um, is this is not like your average RPG. I, I imagine this as more of there's a recurring theme that happens where, again, it sounds a little bit cliche, but there's always like every few hundred years, there's these two sides battling it out. They duke it out and then they, they leave and then they come back. And that's supposed to happen every like however many years. Something happens in this that I, that I have this idea that the one side that they've been, you know, they've been best friends. This, the main character and his best friend have been been that way forever, fighting alongside each other. Something happens where he goes, he leaves, they, they finish their battle, and he wakes up, he comes back, and now it's like hundreds and hundreds of years in the future. No idea what's going on. Um, and things are all different. Everything looks different. People have kind of shied away from the legend and not really paying attention. They're kind of enveloped in what I like to kind of say is what's going on in the 21st century. Everybody's everybody's looking down at this and they're not really focusing on what's actually going on around them. So that's kind of where I got that idea. Let me go ahead and remove that image there. We have that a little bit better. So we're going to start this by listening to the very first track. Now, a little word of warning with these, or a little, just I guess a disclaimer, some of these tracks have not been finally mixed yet. So you may hear things that are a little bit louder or a little bit like, oh, that's a little rough around the edges. That's okay. I don't have, sh I don't have any shame in sharing the ideas. Okay, so um, that's perfectly fine. So let me go ahead and grab the Forgotten Legend main theme. 
We'll listen to that first and we'll talk about it. Again, feel free to leave some comments if you want to say hello. You can ask questions. I will answer them as the tracks finish up. So this one is simply just called the Forgotten Legend main theme. I don't have an actual like song name for it yet. So. <laughs> So that, that is the track that started this whole RPG making journey for me. And I see Shadow, hey, bits and pieces, watch your YouTube today of last stream with Pit People. Tracks that end were awesome, reminding me of Secret of Mana. I hope the game comes with. Thank you very much. I really hope so too. I really hope so too. That I am, I am and like anxiously awaiting to hear back from that game developer <laughs> about that game. I want that music out. I just want people to hear the music more more than, more than the game. I mean, the game's awesome, but I just want people to hear that music and uh, have the option to get that with the game. Um, so this track is really what started it, okay? So what I mean by that is it, it, really, it really did start this whole project of my, I want to make more RPG music and started getting more influences and this again remember when i in the beginning of this before i play this this was supposed to just be a town track like a, a town under siege or a town that's like been ruined and i'm like no i think i could turn this into a theme so let's go ahead and let's kind of dive in a little bit and now again not all of the tracks are going to have that theme so you hear you heard you heard in here Oh, sorry, not that. Number five. You hear that, okay? You're starting to hear that sound. 
listen very carefully to the upcoming tracks, okay? Because you're going to hear that throughout a lot of them. Not all, but a lot. And that's my idea. So let's go to the overworld theme, which I just dubbed. It's actually called Traversing the Land. It sounds a little bit um, maybe cliche, but that's okay. Again, nothing's finalized yet. I can do name it whatever I want. So let's go ahead and listen to this one. Okay, and again, I want you to imagine if you played these old 90s era RPGs, imagine yourself the top down view, you're, you're walking in the world map and you're going to be facing random encounters and towns and all that fun stuff. So let's give this one a listen. And again, you can give me your feedback if you like it. Awesome. If you hate it, that's okay too. Just tell me why. <laughs> I'll be more than happy to explain my thought process behind it. So let's give this one a listen. Yep. So again, remember, some of this isn't finally mixed. So I know there's parts in here that are like, yikes, <laughs> I, can, I can hear them. Some of these I haven't worked on in a while, so that's okay. But again, did you hear that theme again? The I brought it in, I sped it up a little bit, but it sounds almost like a vocal singing at some of it's, yeah. No, um, there were there were some vocals I very gently laid in their shadow. So nice, nice, uh, Nice pickup on that. Nice audio pickup with that. There are some areas that I did some. Let's see, where are they? So I did add a little bit of vocals. Okay, so I did that on purpose. Very, very nicely picked up there. I see I have another viewer coming in. So if you're just joining, hello and welcome. Uh, we're just listening to some music. I've been working on a project called The Forgotten Legend tonight. So... We usually make music live, but tonight I decided to take a little bit of a different approach. But so for this one, again, what we wanted to do here 
is, or what I wanted to do, my big plan was, again, make this overworld theme while also still in concluding that that typical sound, or not that typical, but that, that no, you know that sound. That Okay, so now let's kick that up a notch again, okay? So, okay, that's great. That's great bits and pieces, but what happens when you run into an enemy? You surely can't. You surely can't have that fit into that, can you? Oh well, let's find out. Let's have uh, let's have this. Give this one a listen. Now I'm gonna tell you after listening to this end. Um, I can tell you I'm not happy with the the very last few seconds of this. But that's okay. Because again, nothing's final yet. But let's give this one a listen. And again, tell me what you think if you can hear it. Pick up on that. It's a little more subtle here, but it's still there. So this one's called "Fight to Be Remembered." So yeah, this last section, I, did, I despise. I have no shame in admitting. I hate this last section, but I have this set so you could loop it. Okay, so right where it starts ending here, watch this. I did this on purpose. So I have it set so you could continuously loop it. I'm not the the designer for the audio, so if somebody uses this in their game, I don't. I don't. I'm not the one that knows how to make it. So, hey, when you win the battle, the music drowns out, and then the victory music plays. So <laughs> I don't have that part fattened down yet, but that's okay. But I'm trying to make a lot of this stuff loopable on purpose. That's kind of what I picked up on. As you know, if those of you who don't know me, I played video games for many years. One of my biggest pet peeves is when you listen to you're hearing the music, it's sounding good, and it's very poorly looped. It's maybe not looped correctly. They kind of just like throw it in again, like midway through this track, and you're like, what are you doing? Like, this is not good sound design. Um, that that can actually get me out of, it, it, it removes my immersive, being immersed into the world, to be honest with you, but that's just, that's how I feel about it. So we did that okay so now you're like great you have you have this soundtrack a little bit um i'm not going to lie i actually had to change the bass around because the bass sounded a little bit too reminiscent of a well-known rpg series that's been going on you know for seemingly an eternity um it, it sounds a little too much like final fantasy i had to change my bass a little bit because it got a little bit too uh a little bit too reminiscent i didn't like that i don't want to emulate anybody i just want to get my own spin okay so we have now we've gotten to three three tracks what i'm going to do really quick is let's go into hey billy hey thanks for joining billy i appreciate it um we're gonna go into another track this one i changed it a little bit too Still has some of those themes. I changed it just slightly. This one's short on purpose. Okay, I haven't quite finished this one yet, but you're still going to hear the theme, and I feel like I could, again, loop this if I really wanted to, similar to some of those older Final Fantasy games where they have short but very memorable um, sound loops and music loops. So let's give this one a listen.
right, so again, short and sweet. I did change the pitch a little bit, but it should still be recognizable enough to the listener that they're going to say, oh, I know what this is from. Hey, Tyler, I see it says, Mom likes the piano. Fantastic. <laughs> Billy, when is Cloud and the Buster Store going to pop out? I don't know. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting for Nopo Omatsu to come down here and, and either shake his head at me in disappointment that he's not happy with my work or to, or to maybe say, keep going. You're doing okay. Um, yeah, that turnaround, Billy. Oh, Tyler, Tyler says we like that. Thank you, Tyler. I, I appreciate that. Billy says, I like that turnaround. Yeah. Um, it kind of goes towards like a happier tone, like not a happier tone, but it does almost a 180 in the emotion. I actually was going to cut that out, but everybody that I had pri previously shared this with, I said, no, keep that. It kind of, kind of makes an upturn. It's not supposed to, like it, that wasn't my intention, but it works. So there's, um, sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. I, I'm again, I, I may expand this a little bit more. It is fairly short. But it is for one of those kind of like foreboding scenes, like oh, something, something's going on that probably shouldn't be going on behind the scenes, behind the curtains. So now we're gonna listen to. It's called this battle unforgettable. Ha ha! It's the forgotten legend. This one again is bringing that theme in. Then we're gonna listen to a couple of tracks that part of this project that don't have the theme, but I still. And trying to get people to associate what they're hearing with this with this soundtrack. So this one's pretty pretty intense. Some of it might you might hear and say, "Oh, this kind of sounds familiar." It sounds like Pokemon Lavender Town. Hey, that's good to know. I'll have to listen. I'm one of those few people that has never fully played. Um, I'm familiar with the soundtrack of Pokemon, but I've never fully played the any any one single Pokemon game from start to finish. So also look at this cup that I got. It's got bits and pieces on it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> so, no, I got this as a gift from my girlfriend. Um, my best friend actually sent me the same cups. So both of them had, had uh, some stuff in mind. But all right. So this one picks up the pace. Okay. A little bit. And, but you're going to hear those themes again. So let's go. Oh, yeah. Sorry. My fiance. Oh, my God. Don't. <laughs> my fiance. Yes. My fiance, Susan. She was my girlfriend when she got it for me. Now she's my fiance. So, all right, let's listen to this battle. This is a boss battle theme, okay? So this one's going up. Yeah, fiance, Billy. Yeah, <laughs> fiance. All right, so let's go ahead and listen to this.
Yeah, so a couple of things I'm aware of. The drums need to be varied. They're, <laughs> they're a little repetitive, but the those little themes, again, are very slightly tweaked, but they're still enough that you can pick up on it and while you're playing this going, oh my gosh, like, why is this theme here? Don't ask me why it's kind of like a serious, sad theme. It's kind of the story that I'm trying to tell. Like, it's it's not going to end well. Like, I mean, that's not a bad thing. It's just that's the, the way it goes. <laughs> it's called the Forgotten Legend. Yeah, Shadow, like, that's kind of along the lines of a boss battle. Yep, so um, that's kind of my idea that I was going with that. This would be more of, like, that boss battle. I do feel with some varied drums or some heavier variation of the drums i could make that a little bit more powerful and get people like really ramped up so thanks billy oh my camera froze did it really oh good times you can still hear me though right let me try something real quick how's that there we go it looks a little bit better i wonder why it froze that's all right. I'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> but, wow. <laughs> Frozen in time. <laughs> uh, so there we go. Awesome. Thank you. So yeah. So now what is that? We're up to, we've gone up to five tracks that have that overall theme, right? So, oh, Darren Claxton. Hey, Darren, how are you? Thank you for joining. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I saw you in the, uh, I saw you in the Mr. CJ live chat or live stream this uh, afternoon. Nice to see you. Nice to see you in Discord as well. So welcome to our community. Fantastic. All right. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to listen to you. We're going to listen to, um, I don't even know if I'm going to call it a dungeon theme ish, but it's kind of like another, another theme that this one does not include. Okay. This one does not include the that theme i kind of shied away with that for some of the towns and some of the some of the over other overworld areas it is darren it's late so don't um anybody who's overseas i know that some of you are well in advance if you're exhausted please don't feel like you have to sit on my stream i i will not take offense i know i'm on the east coast in florida united states so it is only 7 45 about uh p.m eastern time here so <laughs> it's probably really late over there um all right so let's go ahead and listen to we'll listen to a kind of like a field it's not really a dungeon there would be random encounters in here in this area, but there it's more of like a feel of an outdoor field dungeon ish area. So let's look, give this one a listen and we'll listen to a town um, theme and then we might listen to two more. I've got about two more, I think, after that that I can share. I might have three, but we'll, we'll take a look. But this one's called Field of Fool's Gold, uh, Fool's Gold, Field of Fool's Gold. <laughs>
that is called Field of Fools Gold. And the story behind that, before I, I'll get to the comments in a moment, but the story behind that Field of Fools Gold is that there is a there was a battle, a, like a pretty significant battle in said field. And one of the sides, the opposing sides, claimed to have had everything made of gold, of the finest gold, like the armor and the bat and the things. When they actually came to... Uh, get defeated pretty significantly you find out that it was all indeed fool's gold <laughs> so they're the rocks that look like gold but are worth nothing so this whole scrap this whole field is just full of it they just kind of did it so thank you uh thanks billy i see that so i see your your claps here so um shadow i see you said i i only got up at 5 p.m uk so you're on us usa time these days anyway yeah it makes sense i'm up usually at like 5 30 or 6 o'clock a.m and then i'm up until about 10 10 30 at at night um and then i go kind of do it all over again like the melodic flute intro thank you shadow yeah um one of my things i almost did here and i decided against it was i actually almost added some type of percussion or drums but i felt that the flute did fine on, on its own with the melody, but I also feel that the pluck strings did a very nice job of, um, you know, kind of making this, this track almost act as like it's a percussion for the track. And I see uh, Billy, almost a Latin vibe. I, I can kind of hear that. I haven't really thought about it from that perspective before, but I could definitely hear that. And then um, and Shadow Defo with Dungeon. Yeah, yeah. This kind of reminds me of that Dungeon I could see people kind of getting lost um one of my things i also like i guess my big thing is i would love people not to just have the soundtrack but you ever play a video game where you just go back to levels to hear the music it's like yeah i want people to do that too they're like i'm way overpowered for this section i just want to hear the music again so that's pretty awesome so we're gonna go into a town theme this one is called shroudwood okay it, it's you're gonna hear Again, some instruments sound a little bit familiar. So that flute, I really enjoy. So I've, I've used that in a few places throughout this, this particular project. And again, this one is called Shroudwood. And just exactly as the name implies, it's a very like well-hidden town and a little, little bit of mischief that goes on there. You'll kind of hear that. That's the theme when you listen to the music. Again, the, the main Forgotten Legend theme is not present in this particular uh, track, but I still want people to kind of enjoy it so and get lost in the in shroud in the town of Shroudwood so <laughs>
So that was Shroudwood. Hopefully you enjoyed your visit. <laughs> but, um, so you kind of see what I did where I deliberately dropped, just by dropping a few notes and adjusting them, I made the sound from like this happy joyful to that little bit of like a little bit of mischief. So. Right here, you'll hear it. It's a few throughout, but here's the drop right here. So just by adjusting a couple of notes, it completely changes that mood. It, it again gives it that upturn or downturn of like, hey, this is a cool town to hang out with, but I think there's something a little bit funny going on here. <laughs> there's a couple of people that maybe maybe are a little bit suspect. So something to keep in mind, but um, that was Shroudwood, okay? So that's another track as part of this uh, Forgotten Legend project that I've been working on for ugh, three years now, I think. It's, it's a long project. Uh, it's kind of like my first big RPG project that I'm not getting I'm not getting paid to do. I don't have, it's not for a specific set game, but I still wanna make it to, um, make it so that people can listen to it at some point. Maybe somebody will pick it up and, and want to use it in their uh, video game at some point. I'm gonna say Fight to be Forgotten for last, okay? Um, and I'll explain that in a second. <laughs> so that one's really good, but um, we're gonna change, change it up. We're gonna do one more, got two more tracks. Dungeon Dwellers, which is, again, it sounds cliche, it's for the Forgotten Legend. The theme, again, is not necessarily in there. And then we will listen to what's, what I call is my magnum opus of this, of this project, which is Fight to be Forgotten. Um, I will explain that in more detail towards the end of this stream. So, but let's go ahead and listen to Dungeon Dwellers. This one takes a bit of a heavy turn. As you can see, all of this, I filled this up almost to capacity, these two trying to create this. That's a lot. That's uh, quite a few letters and numbers of things that I, I had to fill up to try to get this to work right. So a uh, little bit more somber, but again, envision yourself. You're in the 90s playing or you're sitting here now playing a 90s era or 90s style RPG and imagine yourself in this kind of dungeon setting. <laughs>
All right, so that is appropriately but sort of cliched <laughs> dubbed uh, Dungeon Dwellers. Love to see a tutorial of using that software. What is it called? Yeah, Shadow. That's a that's awesome. Um, this is called Rhythmic Studio. I uh, Rhythmic Studio. I'm going to type it in the chat though because it's spelled a little bit weird. Right there for you. Now I I'm uh, I'm glad you're you're talking about this because. Now, Billy just left, but he calls me the mad scientist. Do you see these four layers or four channels, I should say? I only have these four. You can't expand it. So you are forced to work within the confines of four late, like, I don't want to say four layers, but four channels to, to layer everything together. But within each of these, I can add other segments in there. So you can actually do a lot. Now, the thing with this one, Shadow, is it's not it's it's not perfect. And what I mean by that is it's they're not really I don't want to even say they're not really developing it anymore. Like they're not doing too too much to to tweak it. I've been begging them to please make like a really robust version, but um, where it's not perfect is sometimes it doesn't behave. So sometimes I know all digital audio workstations <laughs> uh, have their, their own pros and cons. This one sometimes decides it doesn't want to behave and work. It may just decide I don't want to run anymore, which is really frustrating. Um, the other issue that I sometimes have is these are kind of broken up into fours typically like I go everything by like a rule of fours here so one two three four can I export yes that's a great question so there's this awesome export button I won't do it while we're on the stream I'll click it but I won't actually export so you export you name it whatever you'd like yeah like like to a doll with mini oh um that yeah I believe you can I have I haven't tried that yet shadow that's a good question I, I believe you can um you choose if you want to autoplay it so you want to just auto export it on its own, um, the frame, the quality, the format, and where which folder you want. And now the thing to keep in mind, this is where this program isn't perfect. If you're exporting and you have like Chrome or OBS or you're listening to music or you're running different programs in the background, it will actually kind of make the export, it'll work but you'll hear it stutter in the track. So you'll see the finished, the finished MP3 or whatever file you use, and it will actually cause a little bit of jitterness in there and you have to go back and re-export it. So when I do export, all of my other programs are closed down it, it, because of that reason, that if somebody like pings me on social media and it, it pops up, sometimes that little ping will cause the program to like hiccup and then it'll continue as if it's fine and it'll kind of break. But um, I would be more than happy at some point to give a tutorial on this uh, if people are interested. I'm not a, I'm not like a master master by any racist by, by any stretch of the imagination, but I, I know enough about it to kind of get me around. But um, there's some cool things you can do. Um, all the samples, this is everything that comes with it. And then um, these are all, uh. all these. Yeah, it might be a RAM issue. You might be right. Um, I have, shamefully, I admit, I have 12 gigs of RAM. I, I know the normal now is 16, but this is a little bit older PC. So, but I have pretty. It's pretty powerful under the hood. But, um, so different things, different sounds. This is like a whole chip tune or 8-bit set, and then you can add your own samples in here you can import and export samples which is nice um i will tell you that sometimes again you have to if you get a sample you have to do some adjusting to the sample before importing it sometimes the volume of the samples are really low and you have to like i go into like audacity and make it make it different but yeah it, it might it might be a bug um you, you might be right shadow that's kind of the that's my I, I want to say it's kind of my presumption sometimes. Like I, I think that there's just it's not perfect, but that's all right. So we're gonna conclude tonight with uh, I call this the again. It's not completely fully mixed, so don't mind if I have to make some adjustments on the sound or the volume. 
Um, this is called Fight to be Forgotten. This one does essentially tie the Forgotten Legend main theme together. It's a, it's a super, like, the big, big battle theme. Um, and I won't lie, like, I got pretty emotional making this. I'll, I'll share that when we, when we get to that portion of this. Like, what section made me, like, what have I done? Like, how did this happen? Um, and that's where it is where I think about, like, what happened... And then why this is such an emotional piece is I feel it that way. It's got the battle sounds, but it's got that kind of, it's got that battle theme to it. But you're going to kind of hear like, you know, like I as a composer and I making this project know what the story entails and I know what's going to happen. So it's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's pretty tough. But let's give this one a listen. I made a little, a couple adjustments this afternoon uh, pr prior to the stream starting uh just to make sure to see if i could try to adjust the mixing and this will be it we'll, we'll talk about this one i'll break it down and then we'll go ahead and um call it a night but again i present to you um fight to be forgotten
right, so, <laughs> oh, it sends chills down my spine. I don't know why. Um, yeah, I see that shadow. Nice change in mood. Thank you. Yeah, and that's that part where I got, like, how, I, I don't know what compelled me to change that mood. It kind of went from that, like, oh, it's just a boss battle. Yeah, yeah, kind of melancholy on purpose. Um, that That's my plan. I, um I'm not really one to like write. Tra <laughs> I find comp like humor. I like comedy and action movies. I don't usually like like things with sad or not great endings. But at the same time, it's like I don't know what compelled me to do it that route. And right here, like you mentioned, right where, right there is where I changed that tune. Went right from that. Went right from that action that like yeah this is a battle to like uh oh something's going on here and if you hear so you hear that but at the end deliberately kind of like a clock ticking I did that on purpose as well time's up <laughs> it's like oh no so yeah it needs a little bit of work with the mixing i can tell up here my my uh sounds going crazy up here so i typically mix these in another program um some other program i don't usually try to do all the mixing in here but this one needs a little bit but um this is what i call like i mentioned the magnum opus of my project um every big project that i make every big long multi-track project I always f find there's that one track that I'm like most happy with, and this is that one. It ties all of it together. And it even brought in that string that was in the initial main theme of the Forgotten Legend. So it still ties that in with the rest of it, and it all works. Um, so again, just a little bit of adjusting uh, with the volume and some, some of the levels of the drums and whatnot, and I think we will we'll be on the right, on the right track. But... Um, yeah, so what I'll do is uh, it's about 8, 12 p.m. Eastern time. Um, I'm not going to share any more of my tracks tonight. Um, I'm th This is pretty much all. There are a couple more pro um, projects or a couple more tracks in here that I have. I, I'm not going to share those tonight. I shared quite a few. But um, if you have any questions for me before I end the stream, I'll leave the floor open for any questions that anybody wants to ask in the chat. Um, it could be pretty much about anything. It could be about music, what got me started, or whatever you feel like talking about. But uh, Or if you need to leave, I also definitely understand. But um, if you're just now joining, uh, we're, we're kind of wrapping up my stream, but I have this archive now. So when the stream ends, you'll have access to this video on Twitch, which is awesome. And I'll, I'll put the recording up on my uh, other social media channels. So um, yeah, this is kind of my uh, I kind of call it my baby. <laughs> this is my this is the the RPG project that got me hooked on making RPG music and uh, heavy heavy inspiration from uh, the well known Nobuo Amatsu. And I, I kind of wonder sometimes <laughs> if I'll ever be able be able to be as good as he is because he's he's just an amazing composer. But so I'm going to do I ever release CDs? Shadow, I do. I do release CDs. That's a great question. Now, I haven't released any any um, RPG CDs yet, um, or like even like digital albums. I haven't gone that route. However, I'll at least put up my Bandcamp page for right now so you can look at that. But um, there are a couple of future projects I'm working on that I would like to actually go... I'm thinking about going the physical, the physical copy route in addition to digital. Uh, I haven't gone that route yet. I found a couple of really cool uh, vendors that are, um, they're kind of, they're working, they, they seem to be working pretty good with me on, um, you know, what I, what I would like to do and they offer pretty reasonable rates. So no like physical CDs, but I've released a few albums in the past. Two of them are on Bandcamp. The first two are everywhere else, like Google and uh, iTunes, back when I didn't really know what I was doing and I wasn't aware of what Bandcamp was. Um, so yeah, the, those are those ones that I, I shared with you on the Bandcamp page, those are all more like chiptune rock. So that's not really this vibe, but once I get the go ahead from the, the game developer on the other project I'm working on that you listened to uh, from the, the, the prior stream, 
Um, once I get the go ahead, I do have full rights per my contract with him that I get to keep the rights to all of my music. I get to sell it and I get to do whatever I want. And I'd like to make that another big kind of big production because it's like 30, I think it's up to 35 tracks that I worked on with that. I'll have to do the total tally of the hours, <laughs> but it, it's, a long, it's a long, uh, it's a long project. I'm, I'm happy with it, but, um, yeah. It's a great question. another song like that okay so um with that i think what i'll do tonight is it's a little little after 8 15 we've been at this for about uh about an hour i see it's a lot of folks did hop on so thank you very much for for tuning in tonight what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna um on my end i'm gonna call it a night uh, i as i mentioned in the beginning of the stream if you haven't oh cool thank you shadow i appreciate it um but I am, I'm pretty shot from the past two days of work. <laughs> so I don't have any shame in admitting I'm a little bit more drained tonight than normal. So I will call the stream or end the stream a little bit early. But um, if this is your first time watching, I always come on on Tuesday nights at 7.15 p.m. Eastern times, typically to make music. Tonight was different. I wanted to try something a little bit new. Sunday afternoons, at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And I know football season's almost over, so I may maybe get more of a <laughs> more of a, you know, following. But I'll play a random game, uh, whatever game I find that, that I find has good music and good design. I'll play that for a bit. Then we'll listen to a few tracks that I've worked on. And um, that's about that's how the Sunday streams are. It's more of a relaxed stream. It's not really meant to do anything crazy. I don't create, but... Um, yeah, I'm going to call it a night, everybody. But again, thank you so much for joining the stream tonight. I really do appreciate your help um, and it's your support. It really, really makes me glad that um, I got some folks that really like this. But I do hope everybody, you have a fantastic rest of your night and a great week. And uh, those of you in our uh, DIY Discord channel, I will definitely see you there throughout the week. All right, take care, Shadow. Thank you. <laughs>